Hey, what's up? I got a short video for today, so here we go. All right, this is going to be the last major fabrication project before I tear this truck apart. So today I'm going to be building the Reese hitch for the back of the flatbed. So let's get into it. Here's what the sides are going to look like. They're going to sit right about here on the frame, and I'm going to make these out of some 3 8 plate. Now that these are all cut and cleaned up, it's time to weld them together. Okay, the next thing I want to do is get these tacked into place up underneath the truck. This is a piece of two and a half inch quarter inch wall tube that I'm going to use to connect the two brackets. Once I get these two tacked together, I'm going to pull it back out so that I can finish building it on the bench. Right here, I'm cutting a notch into this part in order to give me a spot to mount the receiver. Here I'm fully welding that receiver into the hitch and you can see that I've temporarily tacked a piece of rebar to the top of the hitch in order to keep the two ends into place. Next, I'm going to weld this bracket underneath the receiver tube and that's going to be the mounting points for the safety chains. Now that that's all welded, I'm going to make a bracket which is going to hold the trailer wiring connector and it's going to sit right here. Now that that's complete, it's time to get this thing underneath the truck for the final time.
Okay, here's the completed hitch. It should be plenty strong enough to hold anything that I need to tow behind this truck. I'll finish welding it once I disassemble the entire truck and I can access the back side of it, but for now, it looks pretty good. All right, that was the last thing I wanted to build on this truck. It doesn't mean that I'm finished with the truck, it just means that I'm at about the halfway point as far as this build goes. So the next step is to completely disassemble the entire thing and start to get some things ready for paint. So that's what's gonna happen in the next few videos. There's still a lot of fabrication that needs to be done on the actual cab of the truck. So look for those videos in the future and I'll see you next time.